Hi, this is Dr. Sam Lamb. I'm doing a video narration for this lady who's undergone acne scar corrections. You can see the deep pitting uh, and even the pore texture has been improved with repeated silicone injections. This is a permanent result. It should last her the rest of her life minus maybe further aging if there's some reduction in the total facial volume. But you can see on the lateral view that it's not a complete elimination of the, of the, the pits, but a significant improvement toward uh, at least someone that when you look at them you don't think they look like acne scars but they look much better again from the other side view you can see that uh, the deeper pits as well as even the pores and if you look these sort of slash mark pores have been improved now this is very difficult to inject these little tiny drops of silicone intradermally but that's what I can do I had a lady that's from Houston that I had done about three rounds on then she went some, to someone in New Jersey came back with bumps all over her face because it was in pl placed into the wrong plane um, thank God I was able to dissolve it down using 5-4-Uracil in the right doses and bring her black, back toward a flatter uh, aspect because part of silicone is not the silicone but it's the collagen remodeling so you really have to be extremely skilled in placing this intradermally so you don't get problems. Uh, this is a close-up perspective you can see uh, near flawless improvement. If you say, well, Dr. Lamb, is this an average result? No, this is one of my better results. And the part of the reason is uh, most people do about two, three, or four rounds. But this lady, believe it or not, sit down for this, has done 20 rounds with me. And that is on the very abnormal end of treatments in terms of number of, of sessions. But the treatment over here, the treatment over here has been done um, with uh, the same treatment and you can see that it's improved even in the micro pores and that whole uh, treatment is really something that will last. Now, I want to emphasize that the depth of the hole, the depth of the hole um, is really the problem. So when you look at pro problem areas with, with acne scars, most people think you're going to laser this down. And I really would uh, counter, uh, counteract that and say these are the flaws, the tiny little holes. And if we can elevate the pores and texture and tone over time, those little holes will start to level with the skin and our brain will have progressive uh, inability to see them. So I don't think silicone is safe in large quantities. I don't think it's safe in the lip area, but for small dots in the scars, I've been doing this 15 years, and I find it to be tremendously helpful.